Uh, give me a second. Or, or like, give me, give me the bit of context that connects to this game. Right, right, right. I just have to find where I wrote it down. Oh. Ah. Where yeah, so... Where have I seen this code before? In the burning ship! That we knocked out of the sky. Oh, oh no, I'm haunted. <laughs> Not again. So, uh, um, uh, in your travels, Hedera, you had found a group of cattle who were escaping their uh, work to attain freedom for the first time. Mm. And uh, this, this is, is the this person. Is one of those, then. This is the person that led them. And he uh, works here, apparently. What the hell are you doing here? Er, uh, um... I need you to, uh... Do a favor for me? If that's that's alright by you? That's fine, but you didn't answer my question. I mean, I... Well, I mean, turns out Skyhorn doesn't ask that many questions, and, you know, I kind of needed money. Yeah, I know that feeling. All right, fine. What's the favor? All right, so, um, word goes around quick here, and, uh, I, I, I don't want to impose or anything, but you're, you're going to a factory in them. The glass fields, right? Yeah. Go on. And, uh, presumably that factory has, a uh, cattle workers? It's a fair assumption. You're telling me there's going to be some kind of, uh, opportunity, shall we say, at this factory? Yeah, you could say that. Now, w listen, I'm not asking you to put your neck on the line again. All I ask is that when you go there, you take me with you. Alright. Not the sort of request I was expecting. What kind of business you got there? Well, I mean, they're, they're my people. I gotta help them out, you know? Like, yeah, that's a great that, like, my family's out of there and all, but I'm not gonna leave other people behind there. Right, let me rephrase. You got a plan? Or are you just going in there and hoping for the best? Because one of those you might walk away from. Uh, he's silent. <sighs> Fine, I'll take you there, but we're talking about this before you get there. All right, all right, all right. Okay, let's... let's I'm not letting it. you just kill yourself over something stupid. I didn't go to that much trouble to help you in the first place. Only for something like that to happen. All right, so, uh... He agrees, and... Um, do you take him back to the ship or something? Or... Um, <laughs> I mean, I'm assuming I'm not done here unless, like, I've worked out that there's nothing for me to find. Right. Uh, so, really, so it comes down to if if there's more searching yet to be done, I'm going to keep searching. Otherwise, I'm going to head back with. Okay. Yeah, you're probably going to head back over then. Okay. Yeah, I guess I'm going back then. All, All right. right. Follow me. Oh, well, you going to say something? I, I just said, all right, follow me. 
Okay, he follows. I'm leading him back to my ship. All right, um, Mel, you get a um, a crackle on your radio telling you to come back to the ship. Um, by this time, um, you've been talking with this uh this other alpaca for a while, and he's just finished fixing up his ship. And uh, he's sort of been listening to whatever you have to say. Okay, yeah. Uh, before the crackling came up, I basically was just going to try to casually work in, which is to say, apropos of nothing, I just ask him, uh, like, basically, if he has run into any other, or she, she just straight up tells him she's trying to find her family and asks him if he has found any other alpaca that have been trying to find family and gives whatever last name we eventually decide on. I mean, I met the guy like that. I worked with a guy like that a few, uh, a few months back. He was kind of an asshole. Uh, but yeah, I already got fired. <laughs> oh, yeah. huh. Wait, he's he's saying that he he met some another alpaca that was looking for family and they were an asshole. Mm. They yeah, they fired. worked for the Skyhorn Company and then uh, they got fired. So, so Anis, we need to decide: was anybody in our family an asshole? <laughs> <laughs> oh boy. Uh I can't decide whether or not to say, yeah, that sounds like my brother. <laughs> I mean, it's also possible that a family member, like, changed after, you know, a near-death experiment. Experience. Experiment? <laughs> <laughs> near-death <laughs> experiment, you say? I, I, no. How did, hey, look, buddy, I'm how, did, how did Strick get a hold of my family? <laughs> Strick is a space Strick, demon, and it's just afraid Strick, of... Strick, no, Strick is actually a long-lost cousin. After, a, removed. after a near death experiment. <laughs> Strick was a result of the near death experiment. Oh no. This this is this is a thing now. <laughs> it's on the recording and everything. It sure is. <laughs> yep. Oh well, she I don't I don't yeah. know what the technology level is as far as like communicating with people like if we have an equivalent to email addresses or something but uh what, whatever is available mel will like give him whatever contact information uh she has if he's willing to take it uh to let her know if he like encounters anybody any other alpaca that are looking for family again a ship would have like a contact or an ip address or something right yeah, like a ship ID. She gives him the sh she gives him the ship ID for the spice merchant. If, like I said, if he's willing to take it. She mentions that she's very, very worried about about her family. He gives a. Uh... Kurt nod and walks away without fanfare. She she just says thank you to him as he walks away. Eh. And then the radio crackle, probably. So yeah, somebody's so they're calling me back to the ship then? Yep. And I'll be right there. And she makes her way back. Annis better not have taken any of my money. <laughs> Annis did not take... Annis just... Where my... Where my money? <laughs> uh, whenever Annis does transcribe the spell, she will use her own money. <laughs> but speaking of money things, um, there is one more thing Annis would like to do here. Yes. I feel... 
All right, speak your uh, action. She would like to go and find the uh, gear people. The, you know, the people that provide gear that you can buy gear from. Those people. <laughs> and inquire about either a sort of object or item that could, you know, let one breathe without needing air. You know, in a vacuum. Or inquire about spacesuits or anything of that, you know, degree. I'm gonna find the quartermaster. Uh... This is getting too into space. Yeah, they got really? spacesuits. Uh... One space suit is 1,500 gold. Yikes. Um, oxygen, oxygen tanks not included. Well, well, that's why I want that magic item, <laughs> too. I don't reckon they have that on hand. Um, they don't have anything magical. That would be, uh... Something of, uh... Actually, um, but they do have a magic rebreather, but it doesn't come with the environmental protection of the suit. It just lets you breathe in uh, no air environments. Birds, how dare you? And what? Hmm. Well, that's interesting. So you can breathe in space, or you can survive the vacuum of space, but not both. <laughs> well, but you that's could the buy both. Thing about that is... Think she's crazy, she'll do it. But I need to check the specific thing I'm looking for. I don't know if Annis would know the name. Uh could I actually roll intelligence for that? Go for it. Okay. A wizardy would, girl. Would that be an arcana since it's technolo technological knowledge that she's trying to remember? Well, what's she looking for? Well, I wanna see if Annis would <laughs> If Ennis remembered it, she'd probably do well. I'm just wondering if she would have known beforehand about... What do you, the... Hang on, what do you mean, if you remembered it? <laughs> well, that's... Don't you have I... that thing? Yeah, that's my point. But no, I mean, I want to know if Ennis would know beforehand about the... I think Necklace of Adaptation, as it's called. Mm. Yes, that's the one. So, should I roll a counter for that? Uh, do it. I, I did it. I got an 11. Uh, that, is that enough to know about this? It's an uncommon magic item. But, you know, it lets you breathe. Without breath. Uh... I mean, it's, it's the kind of thing that would definitely be useful. It's just a question of, like... How widespread is the knowledge of how to make it? Or that it's a thing that exists. Yeah. Um, this rebreather is kind of like it, except it's not, like... It doesn't have that advantage on saving throws. Hmm. So, uh... It's you don't version. know about this necklace specifically, because it's a little too niche for most people's uses. I see. Unless you've had to go into any, uh... Hostile volcanic landscapes and breathe in sulfurous fumes. Well, that's like in which case it would be extremely lives. common there. <laughs> well, not really half. That's that. So together, that would be two thousand. Oh, two thousand. Everything together. Interesting. And it's, we'll store this information and probably see if another party member is good at talking to people. <laughs> That's... Oh, you have a, you have a, a cousin slash little sister. Yeah. Who's who's who tries to talk to people? <laughs> <laughs> uh, I suppose that's true. <laughs> Her heart's in the right place. Sometimes. <laughs> oh, Annis will definitely remember this, like for sure. And then I think if no other space knowledge can be scrounged up, which presumably not, because they've already tried that, I will head back to the <laughs> ship. 
Sorry I mean, for this, taking this, the time. This is this is hardly like a like a research community, so I wouldn't expect them to have too much, but you never know. It's a giant warship. How do they not have research communities on it? Have you seen the state of this place? <laughs> you gotta <laughs> Mel has. <laughs> yeah, Mel has. Oh wait, um Do any of you ask um before you leave, do any of you ask around in the ship about uh red current? Oh, um I don't think Annis would. Mel doesn't think too. You know what? So I'm trying to think of like a subtle way Annis would ask about Uh, like her space paranoia without trying to sound crazy. I feel like she'd say something similar to Derp about like space distortions. Oh wait, did I think that I was trying to contact Red Current before? Right. You did. Like, do you talk to anyone? I meant I was trying to. I meant I was uh, contact Scar. Oh. Ah. Thing. It makes a little bit more sense. Yeah, that's... I, I get it. What a good horse. So, so you know what? On that roll, sure. The thought will cross Hedera's mind, and she'll ask if... Uh... Actually, wait a minute. These guys were the ones who'd taken another contract... One of those contracts. This is the company that uh, you found uh, had... Uh, the guy... Um, the guy's data pad had Skyrim company. This is, this is, the, this is the company whose ship we found... Yeah. Totally like that. This when is we kind got of there. why we like started this whole thing, wasn't it? Oh yeah, it was like that kind when of. Got yeah. There. Like it was like that when we got keep, there. Then we keep getting caught, caught up on other things. Uh, yeah. So I'm gonna I'm gonna ask about uh, if there's anything about like a contract relating to a red current. Um, so uh, ask around about Scarlet, actually. Okay. Um, Hedera. Uh, asking around about this topic, um, you get called up to Caber's office, and then... <laughs> <laughs> oh, no. Uh, Do you go? Yeah. I mean, it, if I'm in trouble for just asking, like, I'm gonna be even in even worse trouble for not showing up. And I think I have a few tricks up my sleeve if I really need to uh, make a getaway. So, she inquires. You're interested about the contract in... on the... who is it? Uh, Red Current? Yeah. Call it a professional interest. She really is it's just uh, nobody. We don't know who put up the contract. They weren't even hunting her. The people who were there, they were hunting parsley. Hmm. Not not a thing. That's strange. Indeed. Uh, I heard about what happened on the passing and the destruction that employee caused. I would have reprimanded him, but uh, it seems you have uh, taken care of him already. That ship has sailed, as they say. I would ask that you not do that again, but other than that, I don't blame you for your actions. Cir- circumstances permitting, I don't go around attacking people at random. Our uh, our party came under attack in the middle of a, an otherwise already complex situation. Yes, that's but, uh, uh, quite the confusion. Yes, I will. I will certainly avoid any uh, wanton destruction. I trust that you will. Now, goodbye. Just, it doesn't strike you as odd that such an unassuming contract has such a wide coverage? If 
It is something of concern. It doesn't concern me. Our company specializes in war contracting. Criminals or the swords have no exact impact on our company. It is not our business, so to speak. Oh, it's that! I see. I saw that back there. Well, in that case, I'll uh, get out of your fur. Off she goes. So you do realize that it was probably a liar. <laughs> it? Uh, I mean, I'm sure there's things I don't know, but... I mean, the ship did grab specifically our target. Yeah, should I be making an insight roll for that? I feel like something should have triggered there, but... Could have been like I mean, a miss. Did. Maybe it was convenient. It's ironic that they were aiming for Parsley and... Oh wait, yeah, actually, Parsley did turn into Red Current. So, like, it might have been like... <laughs> which, which oh. one? And they accidentally picked the right one. Oh no. Uh, <laughs> that's possible. <laughs> uh, not to mention, though, if uh, Cabra is to be believed, they don't generally take those kinds of contracts in the first place. So that introduces more questions. So there, there's kind of too many unknowns, unknown unknowns to really take a guess yet, I think. Is that intelligence check your, uh, your insight? Or? No. Uh, that was... Uh, you asked if anyone asked about Red Current. Right. And I was trying to see if in every, with everything that happened, did Hedera think of it? And the answer was yes. I could roll an insight, though. Dice don't fail me now. A. Hey. Pretty good. I rolled a 16 both times. Hmm. <laughs> I think. I mean, I guess, so, fir first question is, like, am I being outright lied to? Am I being partially lied to? Or, as far as Cabra knows, has only truth been spoken in this conversation? Um, it's most, it's truthful, as far as you can tell. Okay. So if there is something, something underhooved happening, uh, this person is not the source of it. Correct. Uh, well, I will file that away, but I don't know if there's any more I can do about that right now. Alrighty then, uh, you head back to the ship, I suppose. Yep. Alright, um, party, do you fly over to, uh, this, uh, place that you've been asked to go to? How long would it take? Uh, within six hours? A few weeks again? Maybe slightly longer? Because this is like also on the other side of the galaxy. Oh, well, we did stock on, up on provisions, right? Yeah, yeah they, they gave us some provisions, if I recall, right? Right. More than enough for a trip there and back. Actually, um, uh, if you heard that, don't worry about it. Um, I think before we leave, and it should bring up the 
possibility of a space space suit to Malang, and like <laughs> also known as Melange. 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 Wee oui, wee. Oui. Uh, so, no. uh, I also have something to ask. Go ahead. Sorry. It's okay. Uh, how would she? I guess whenever Anison is back on the ship and sees her, she would kind of approach and sort of. I would like to ask you something. Ah, uh, what's that? What precisely would we do if there were external repairs needed while we were in the middle of space? That is something I've wished we had for years now. I'm kind of surprised we haven't done anything about it yet. Well, it seems that they're offering a spacesuit of sorts here for... Mm, the Oh? Yes. The, there are two independent items. A magic rebreather and a... Well, the suit itself. Together, that would total around a hefty 2,000 gold. Oh. Oh. That. Oh. Hmm. How how complicated did these things look? Uh, is that in character or out of character? Uh, it's in character. <laughs> well, out of character, how complicated do these things look? Annis could describe <laughs> a lot about them. <laughs> she, as, you, as a memorized. May, make an insight check on Mel. Presumably, she wants more complicated, but it could also be less complicated. But uh, the rebreather is basically a funky-looking gas mask with uh, some magic runes on the inside. Um, that was my insight, by the way. The spacesuit is uh, um kind of like a wetsuit. If what suits were chunky, <laughs> nice. it's, 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 like, it's like one of those like it's no, it's like one of those like old style diving suits. Yeah, <laughs> uh, both are magical in nature, the or big daddy like magic technology. Uh, Annis recognizes a look on Mel's face. Uh, she can tell that Mel is thinking, "I could make one better than what they sell." <laughs> Oh. <laughs> I just oh. need to figure out how. Hmm. She, wow. she has seen this look many times, I'm sure. Then Ennis will smile slightly and say, Well, the suits themselves and the actual rebreather didn't seem any more complicated than a heavy suit and a mask, but there were runes and the like on them. You might be able to ah. make something similar with heavy insulation and a tank. I did mention that. Tanks, I mean. Mm, I wonder if Parsley can help me with that. He knows how to make stuff sometimes. I mean, he built Timiko after all. Works on Timiko. <laughs> You built Temeco, that seems, right? That seems a lot more complicated. Every, everyone just yeah, pretend that Parsley built Temeco. Did, totally. did, Pars did Parsley build Temeco? I don't actually know what the story is with that. I think it was his that Mel prop. That Mel might? Is Does Mel really know? No, oh, I'm asking you out of character. Oh. Um, what was the question? Did Parsley, uh, did build Parsley... The... <laughs> build the yeah. did, Parsley that... did not build the did not nope. build him. Well, ah, I mean, never we're mind this then. conversation on the spaceship. Presumably, other people would be able to overhear us if they wanted. If they wanted, depending on where you approached Mel. If you're like, she's probably in her workshop if you came to her. Oh, you're approaching Mel? Well, I can't ask you questions unless I get closer. 
Can't requisition equipment without getting closer. <laughs> and come as close as you like. But, hmm. I would be a willing test subject for any potential suits you come up with. I've already sort of survived the void of space before. <laughs> oh dear. Yeah, no, I'm not putting you in space in an experimental suit. Mel, Mel gets very serious all of a sudden. That's fair. We'll, we'll put parsley in it. <laughs> Test subject, Ken. You, you can tell she's joking now, though. <laughs> And it smiles wider, but she's not typically very good at these joke things. Neither is Mel. Actually, just just cause. Also, Neither I'm is for... Mel. <laughs> Yay! Also, I'm sorry for hawking all the spotlight. She she actually says out loud, but um, tish. Oh, that's great. Yes. <laughs> Perfect. Just, just to ruin it. Oh dear. What do you, what do you mean ruin? I think that enhances. <laughs> Depends on your perspective. I mean, some people appreciate a performance of four. Mel like pulls out like a cassette tape recorder and spends half a minute plucking everything in and setting everything up, and then just plays a laugh track. Perfect. Uh, but yeah, I would definitely like to have something like that uh, sooner or later, a space, uh, space suit of some kind. I'll have to keep it in mind, then. I'll add it to my list. Those just seem like generally good things to have when you're running a ship. Yes. I'm, I'm wondering if I'll need to invest, invest in one at some point. Also, um, this doesn't necessarily have to be after we get on the ship. But there is one more thing I'd like to do in the few weeks span of us traveling to Factory Place. Sorry again for taking all the attention. I'm, when, when you're done, I'm just going to roll more blueprint checks, so carry on. Uh, I uh, what are you doing? I think unless I roll... Well, Annis is going to... Go to go and find Strike. Yeah. Uh, you sure? Wait, what do you mean you sure? It's um, a small ship. Yes, and a soul. Anyway, um. To the lab. Though, also, I wanted to know something first. Hopefully. All right. Um, that will probably require everyone. Hmm. So, uh, what is the, like, schedule of everybody? Is there always someone on the bridge in places, uh, right next to the communication? <laughs> uh, <laughs> well, then. I mean, I know we have the uh, I don't know navigator. What is what is our uh, modus operandi for for manning the bridge? Hmm. Well, I figure if you're doing blueprint work and Annis is mostly just like not doing. Much, I mean, she. I mean, if if we have a the car? <laughs> if we have a duty like that, Mel, I'm sure would like think it's important enough to take care of. Yeah. In addition to her blueprints. I mean which are also very important. A lot of what Annis does in her free time is admiring space, and that's basically what being a navigator ba here is. Basically so. what I want to know is if there's openings. Um, I mean probably Yes, there are probably times when like Annis is asleep and the ship is on autopilot and Okay. There there are only three people in the crew, so there's bound to be the occasional Chem oh. takes over while we're not looking. Oh no. It's Chem ship now. <laughs> the Chem Sorry. Archer. I mean, does, does yeah. Chemico need sleep? Oh, no. 
I don't think so. Oh, that's a good point. So Strick is essentially is going to... Send, send Kem to distract Timiko when it's Timiko's shift. Yeah, basically. And then use the, uh... Essentially use the, uh, communications to send out the same message. Once a day. The same one she sent with the bigger communicator. Oh, God. Out, of, out of character, this seems dangerous, but I suppose if we're on the move, it's not like... It's not like someone can necessarily like ambush us with it. I feel like this is something that we'd notice after a while, right? Because assuming this is chat log type of thing that you're sending the message through in order for it to be, you know, strict. It would have, like, an effect, right? And people would talk about this. Would people <laughs> that we talk to talk about this? Well, I assume that we're passively listening into like, the normal channels, like the news and whatever. You wouldn't be no listening into yourself. Also, it's literally every channel, so I the think. So two, the, two, the, two the two questions are, uh, first, um, I'd, I'd kind of assume there's some sign that the communicator's being used. Like, it might not be noticeable immediately. It might not be the kind of thing that, like, the moment it happens, someone goes, aha! But it might be, like, after, after like, several days of this, it might be like, hang on. And, I mean... If There's something, is, something yeah, going yeah. on with the equipment we've got here. There might be lulls or something, maybe. How many then, times are you sending this message? One, once, once a day. day. So, so it would take a little longer to figure it out. But then the other thing is, if anyone... Uh, is this on every if, channel? If anyone, right? if anyone at some point goes, hey, why'd you broadcast that? Then the game's up. Yeah. This is... And you now, are sending this on every it's, channel, right? It's possible that if you talk to the party, maybe the party will be okay with it, and, like, we continue to transmit, but... Yeah, I mean... Yeah, that's really it there, but... I mean... But I think, it, is, I think it would be figured out sooner or later. You said this is going Eventually. out on, like, every, every possible channel, right? I feel like just someone from space just always sending out an assy, like... Cuttlefish would get attention, at least by like someone who's like, "What the heck is going on here?" And like, maybe some casual guard who's just having his day watching the news. It's a random, you know, he chatting with his buddies over Discord, and there's randomly a cuttlefish that's dropped on his place. I, I that's not understand. what it means to send on every channel, Jamie. <laughs> yeah, maybe I'm dumb, but how exactly are we? It's communication channels. Yes, but these are presumably chat-based channels and stuff. Yeah, I guess people would get a message from a random person with a cuttlefish. Yeah. Yes. Well, to anyone anyone paying attention to like long-range communication would receive yeah, a cuttlefish. Uh, like in in ship or like in group communication, they probably wouldn't get it unless they were also paying attention to long-range, but. It, it wouldn't invade private chats. <laughs> Just imagine you're... Strick, like... Strick, Strick becomes one of those, like, chain memes, like, send it to five friends. Or... <laughs> the cuttlefish <laughs> of power is west. Send, 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 yeah. it to, send it to five you know, friends. I know Strick <laughs> wouldn't like it, but please do that. <laughs> <laughs> Just some... It becomes a meme. People post, like... Captions. <laughs> that can, that can you have to realize, like... Cuttlefish was here. Oh no. <laughs> when do we congratulations, get Congratulations, Strick, you made a meme. This is Bob. The Bob. Wants to <laughs> Big Bob. Strick accidentally started the dollars. <laughs> oh god. Oh, um. Yeah. Okay, um. One day, Strick, uh. The whole crew gets a message. Wait a minute, I just realized something. I'm in a different ship. I'm receiving oh. these messages. Oh, no. <laughs> oh, I okay, forgot never about mind. that. I'm calling, I'm calling you out day one. <laughs> oh. Oh, dear. <laughs> I also forgot about this. Okay. If Parsley, like, ever like, uses his thing, ship, so, that's so also... So the thing is, like, even if, even if, like, I'm leaving it in the hangar, like, it's still a separate ship. I think it's going to pick this up. 
So it parsleys, presumably. This kid, does Timiko have like a communicator channel? <laughs> Why do I keep on getting Timiko. these pings? Timiko suddenly blurts out a cuttlefish. Timiko like t- blurts out the ASCII like names of all the symbols in space, the space, 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 space. Apply the post graph. But yes, that's probably a thing. Uh, as long as you have your ship on, it would probably get it. Probably. I mean, I don't think I'd keep it. Or like, I I think I'm, I'm pretty well, sure. As I keep long it. as the communicator is on, which is probably yeah, I'm pretty, pretty, I'm likely. pretty sure I leave that on. <laughs> that will be one of the things that stays on most of the time because I would use that for my own things. So yeah, after so at some point after like day one of this, like uh, guys. Why did you send out a cuttlefish? What? 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 <laughs> ah, that's weird. I got pinged too. Uh, a cuttlefish? I. I want to just like show them my communications. Hmm. <laughs> Anis will look towards the laboratory. Science huh. <laughs> should should we be concerned about that? I suppose I'll need to keep a better watch on the communicator then. Perhaps. I don't know. Should we be concerned about it? I I'm kind of broadcasting to everyone that we're here, but I'm not sure if this is. I'm, this I mean, is... we're not, we're not trying to be sneaky right now. I don't think so. I'm not sure how. <laughs> should should we ask about it? Probably. Mel Mel looks over at uh, Hedera. As the the one who seems the most able to talk to Strick. Oh well, Ennis is going to, regardless of whatever Hedera does. <laughs> oh dear. The, this is your ship. Should not. Shouldn't you be dealing with? It? Mel looks at Ennis then. <laughs> Strictly speaking, I think it's none of my business. I don't mind either way. I suppose I will address it then. (laughs) And this will then go to the... I am with you in spirit, I say as I cast Guidance. (laughs) (laughs) Hedera is going to follow up trail along uh, from curiosity, if nothing else. Oh yeah, Mel is listening, but... (laughs) Just got your ears to the door. She's not going to confront Strick about it or anything herself. Parsley will just shrug and go back to drinking tea. <laughs> How, how'd that tea turn out? Uh, well, I got a six on my survival check, so... Oh, no. It's mm. just putting leaves in water, birds. So it wasn't, so it wasn't a complete disaster, is the, the, the take, my takeaway here. And I'll still get some tea eventually. <laughs> <laughs> but, uh, I suppose she goes over and knocks on the door to the lab. Which is convenient, because you were going to do that anyway. It is indeed. <laughs> uh, sorry, I had to step away for a second. What's going on right now? Uh, oh, it's no. okay. We are confronting Strick about the fact that she has been spamming cuttlefish on every channel every day. We, okay. we have decided I think, that... I think we've only seen it once. Yes. We don't know it's a daily thing. <laughs> we, Not we've yet. Decided, Not yet. We've, we've decided that Annis is going to talk to Strick. Also, I cast Guidance on Annis. Yep. She knocks on the door. Tap, tap, tap.
Come in. And this then will open the door and step inside. What exactly does the lab look like? Oh, messy. Ah. That's stuff cooking. It's organized chaos. Probably don't breathe. <laughs> and we, we, need, have, we need that, we need that space to be urgently. She doesn't have the necklace of adaptation yet. <laughs> oh no. And this will... Keep her head a little lower to the ground, then, as she kind of approaches straight. Oh, yeah, especially you don't breathe. I'm going to back a neck. <laughs> You're high to the roof. <laughs> and this hits her head on the door frame. Oh, no. <laughs> <laughs> but, um, she will approach Strick and, uh... Strick turns to her, looking uh, a little happier than normal. Uh, what is it? Well... We... She takes a hoof to gesture, her, gesture to herself and then to the door. Because she, I think she saw that, like... Did Hedera come in, by the way, Derp? Hedera, I think, is lingering by the door. Okay. Especially after seeing all the chemicals. Then if the door is still open, point to... Not, better not to crowd the area. Yeah. Point to herself and to Hedera. And, you know, if Mel is there. There. And wanted to Mel inquire... is on the other side of the door. <laughs> wanted to inquire about why you sent a... picture of a cutoffish and... yourself through the communicator to every frequency. Her slits narrow. Do you have a problem with that? Not really, from what I can tell. I'm just curious. <laughs> you wanna know? Sure. You could have asked. Scarlet. It's got a camera on about her? What do you mean, what about her? She's out there somewhere. Oh, it's good. Why, why, she needs to be able to find me when... if she comes back. She, she's gonna come back, right? Mm. She has to. Could I roll inside here? Yeah, you can. And you could do it with guidance if you wanted. I would love to. What is the thing for that again? Add a d4. I will roll a d4. That is a 14. I need to find out the way that works. I had a setup. I think there's a button you can hit. Yeah. I, yeah, I can it. I can elaborate on that after session if you if you haven't found it by then. That would be nice. But anyway, what would a fourteen reveal? Uh Strick. What's it reveal? Oh, a fourteen. Yep. Oh. I mean, there's, there's something pretty obvious it probably reveals. Why? Uh, she's, she's not taking... Duh. Scarlet's leaving too well. Oh. Hmm. And this is bad at connecting dots. She seems to be... Uh, <laughs> in denial.
Oh. I mean, perhaps. She has to re respond to that message eventually, right? If she sees it frequently, that is. Well, of, of course she'd see it. It's not like it's... short-range communications that only reach a planet at most. Travel a lot, so maybe we'll get around eventually. Is there any particular reason you want her to respond? Any reason? What do you mean, any reason? I feel like I'm missing something. Every reason. <laughs> Can can I roll insight on Strick from around the corner behind the door? <laughs> you can. Boo. You failed me plus seven. <laughs> Why have you be like that? Why you gotta do it like that? Oof. I, I don't know Strick well enough. Yeah, you mostly get the stuff uh, that was already pretty clear. Alright, you know what? Heck with it, I'm there too. <laughs> oh. Hey! <laughs> Ace Detective. So, also, did I just roll like three 16s in a row? Yes, yes I did. <laughs> so, uh, you get the feeling that, uh, uh, Strick's relationship with Scarlet is deeper than originally suspected. Hmm. Which makes sense, because Hedera might be the only person who could catch on to that. <laughs> Actually, you know what? I'm going to add that to my notes. Fair enough. Hmm. Well, as long as we're not hiding or running from anyone, I suppose that's fine. Sending the what? message, I mean. As long as it doesn't get in the way of anything else. Her, uh... Her face switches a bit. Do... Do none of you realize where we're at? <laughs> and it smiles a little bit. The dead of space? Hedera seems to be counting something inside her head. Probable pirate territory. <laughs> and... I suppose that's a concern, but... How often have we actually dealt with pir pirates before? Like, in character? Would, uh, or, uh, sorry, out of character, I mean, I don't know why. Would, um, should I roll an intelligence for if Anis, if just, I know about pirates in general, if they're giant or if they're typically scrappy? Nah, you know about pirates, come on, you were, uh, part of a nomadic, uh, alpaca colony. I, like, I feel like, as mercenaries, we'd all know at least something about pirates. Yeah, but I mean, well, the scale. Some, I, I some know of us are barely mercenaries. I feel like in it... I, hmm. Okay. I feel like... <laughs> Interesting point. Living it, what are we We're living in space? Like, the dead of space your entire life? You know about Like, pirates. you would be hit yeah. by pirates at least once. Of, of course, but I think that... 
th there was one important detail that I wanted to know if Anna would know, but then I realized that she probably wouldn't care either way. So, <laughs> I'll just say, <laughs> she responds with a bit of a, you know, it tries to look encouraging. Uh, I'm sure we can take them, if they're out there. More scrap for Mel. What does that have to do with sending a message? The fact that the message will attract them. Aha. Uh -huh. Maybe they think it's a trap. That'd be the smart thing to think. Maybe maybe they think it's people a bunch of people who've gone mad sending out random signals. The Reavers have gotten to that shit. <laughs> oh no. They got they got the Star Madness. They're dowsers now. I mean, do you, do you want to attract pirates? <laughs> Is Scarlet a pirate? She's not a pirate. That's beneath her. Also, Anna said, you do need more test subjects, after all, right? <laughs> yeah, that's... Hedera is going to glare at Anna's. <laughs> Anna's just kind of shrugs. <laughs> and then rifle through her stuff and pull out a decoratively woven kind of sort of snug little sock that would fit around straight. <laughs> <laughs> oh no. Oh dear. Speaking of that, we kind of made an arrangement. I broke my promise, so I made this for you. I forget what was the arrangement. <laughs> that, like, the next idiot we see, he could use as a test subject or whatever. But oh, then right. Ennis stopped you from stabbing the, um, ridiculous, crazy scrap guy back. <laughs> <laughs> the one town. She looks at the sock. What is this? It's an outfit. Sorts. In case you get cold or you end up somewhere cold. Including a fucking bag. This is for all your friends and... She, uh, tosses it to aside. That doesn't make Candace happy. <laughs> <laughs> Can I... Uh... There's a fabulous piece of dialogue I could use here if Anis is aware of something. <laughs> Talk almost makes you wish for a nuclear winter. Wait, actually, would Anis... I don't... Okay, dumb. I'm gonna like, roll the dice here. What would I roll? I what think charisma. Hold on. What are, what are you trying to do? I want it. Uh, if Anis has good enough judgment whether or not to say something, I mean, that would probably be wisdom. It sounds like insight. <laughs> yeah. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> well, that was high. <laughs> It's a high number. Disappointment. Ennis <laughs> <laughs> uh, does not say it, but is kind of visibly disappointed that you threw the sock to the side. <laughs> it's like really well made. You spent like several a good bit of time on that. <laughs> she, uh... Turns to everybody. Now, this lab is getting a little crowded. Can we stop trying to get me to Hedera just shrugs after a moment and leaves. 
we figured out what we came for, so... And it's all turned and... Still try not to look sad over the sark. Mel will wait by the door for Annis to come out. Annis does so. Ho hoof on the shoulder. Consoling. <laughs> okay, give uh, one more thing. So everybody's left, right? <laughs> I think everybody's left. Mm -hmm. Oh, Strick will slowly put on the sink. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god, I love it. Strick is a tsundere confirmed. <laughs> oh no. Oh yes. Oh no. Oh, no. It's not like I like the sock, so baka. <laughs> Uh. <laughs> How comfortable is this? Uh, should I roll for that? <laughs> yeah, how, how did you do on your weaver skill? Roll for sock appreciation. Do I get advantage <laughs> because I made it, like, I took a while to do this? <laughs> well, I'm wondering if you could, like, take take something on it for... Strike uh, hates it. Jeez, oh. no. <laughs> It's so scratchy. And it just gives you an ugly Christmas sweater. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, ug ugly cr Christmas sock, oh, but no. yes. Could I roll, like, just an intelligence check? Because she's crafted things before. And it's smart about it. I don't know. Well, I think, oh, I yeah. think the, question, the question would be, like, could you leverage something into... Um, uh, why can't I remember the word for that? Advantage? Profi proficiency. Wait, what do you mean? I'm already proficient well, like, with weaver's tools. Oh, uh, okay. Uh, that's what I, I got nothing for, for you, then. You might, you might be able to... I don't know if you could, like, spend enough time to, like, take a 10 or 20, but... You could probably take a 10 on it. Oh, yeah, that's true. And well, it's I mean, take a while to do this, so... Could I just presumably take 10 and go with the 16 and not be completely scared of getting like a 1 and struck hating me forever? Take a 20. <laughs> take a 20, she, masterwork I mean, sock. You did, spend, you did spend like a couple days like on and off on it, right? She made lots of socks yeah. until she got the perfect sock. <laughs> <laughs> now the whole party is stockings. Oh no. <laughs> a sock but, store piece. Oh but, no. But Strick got the best one. <laughs> But yeah, some, some somewhere on the ship, there's a closet just full of these. <laughs> the failed experiments. It's in the hats and bows closet. <laughs> They're all sock puppets now. But um, what was it? Anna started to work on this after we started going back to the like the prison place for the I think second time, investigating what eventually led us to here. It, it's been it's been at least two like. That like means it's been like a month almost. It's been it's been like two transits for. I don't think it, I don't know if it takes that long. Finished it any time during that, but <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> it's important that I do well with this. <laughs> so, so, uh, Ty Typhal, you want to weigh in on this? No uh, what are we can, weighing in it's, on? It's, it's can a 10 or 20 be taken on this? Yes, 10. Take forward? a 10. Okay. <laughs> can I take a 10 with advantage? <laughs> that's, not how, that's not how I take a 10. Yes, you can take two 10s if you really want to. <laughs> <laughs> that was... Yeah, you can, take a ten, you can take a 10 with advantage, so you just get a 10. <laughs> you just get a 10 and another 10. There you go. <laughs> <laughs> okay. How does a 16 then fare for comfy sockness? Strick will sleep in the sock. Yes. Oh my god. <laughs> Cute. Uh, very nice. How does Kem react to this? <laughs> Probably confusion. Anis, why didn't you make. 
Why didn't you make socks for Cam? Well, Anis can make socks for everyone. I think, so, uh... No, 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 I think socks for Cam would have to be made out of rubber, so I don't know. That'd be more complicated. <laughs> Just give Cam a hazmat suit. Pretty much. A after a bit, Cam gets, uh, locked out of Wolab. Wait, what? Cam's locked out of Wolab. Oh no. Uh, well, uh, with that, not, not even more or less, to see. with that more or less resolved for the moment, uh, let's see how, how much trying to figure how much time Mel has for working on blueprints and then possibly turning blueprints into realizations of those blueprints. Uh, you have, uh, even more time than you had last time. Okay, yeah, because the first attempted blueprints were trying to figure like an ideal way to attach the minigun to the ship, as previously discussed. Uh, now I'm torn between, uh, like, the, the next on the list was going to be making uh, Boston Dynamic robot legs for Strick, but now there's also a space suit on the list. And well, you I'm can make torn. the rolls now and decide later. Fair enough. Yeah, I'll just this will be just general tinkering and idea making. I'm also going to do these with guidance. So, also the next uh, day, it doesn't add them. Also the next day. Them. Yes, the next day, Strick is going, uh, uh, Kem is going to deliver a letter to Annis. Annis. And Annis will look at the letter. Annis. Okay. I think you Mel's can... on a roll. <laughs> oh. You could probably just roll, like, the guidance afterwards, and then add it all together. What does the letter say? Oh. Uh, whatever you're making, or well, you you finished the designs completely, nice. but you still have to, you know, put the shit together. Still need materials and time. Yep, but that's less time consuming or brain consuming than like figuring out how. To Let's see. Your intellect is less so, than that. Mm -hmm. All right. So 2000 was the selling price for the environmental suit and the rebreather. What would be the material cost? Would it, would it be half of that? or something, because I know that's often how crafting is, but I don't know how it'll go for this. Well, I guess if there's magic stuff involved. Yeah, I'll say half, just for, like, getting all the magic components. Like, you know, because it's magic technology, wow. And then all the items and things. It would be, like, half the cost. Okay. So if I got... I'd probably need one of the artificers in on this, and I assume Strick is probably doing his own thing. So if I got Parsley to help me with the bits that I can't do myself, uh, how far along do you suppose I could get on a spacesuit in the, in the travel time that we have left? Make another roll? With advantage, if you're being right. helped. All right, with the uh, with my tools this time. Correct. Help shall be granted. Huzzah! Because he's not doing much else. Twenty. 
three, and I forgot to add guidance again. Uh, um, you get the suit done, but you don't have the magic components like available. Excellent. Okay, and yeah, for as far as like materials that I need. Uh, the nice thing about being a forge cleric is I can just turn money into stuff as long as it's made out of metal. And I have the time for it. So yes, as we travel, I'm going to be using the heck out of my channel divinity to turn like raw metals into whatever like pieces we need to assemble and such. Okay, and actually, to that end as well, um, so it's a thousand to do the whole thing. Uh, how much for the non-magical stuff that I'm able to do just with what I currently have? Like how, or, rather, or I guess another way to put that, how much of that needs to be spent on magical components. Um, of the thousand, it's like the majority of the cost, like nine hundred to nine fifty. Okay, so I'll say I put a hundred of non-magical materials into it. So like, the suit is together; it's just not functional yet. Correct. Okay. I will mark that on my resources, and we can move on to whoever else wants to do stuff. After the DM comes back. Also, my headset died, so it's a good thing I was already on push to talk. Oh. Nice. Well, calculated? <laughs> 